I <clears throat> having a blast today. What a beautiful day. Grandpa is blessed. Oh. There we are right up there. I wonder what's holding that thing in there. I knew it had to be something. I knew it had to be something. Get a cat. Copper. <clears throat> copper. I always like to see copper. These are some great, great. These crossmen with that 
little ratchet right there oh my god it makes it so much easier <coughs> to grip Some stuff that uh, Paul and I picked up yesterday. Piece of aluminum, goodness, right there. Excursion. One little nut at a time, baby. Oh, nuts. One at a time. what makes this so fun really is you gotta be in a hurry just get out here and take your time if it's cool you'll definitely be enjoying yourself it's probably one of the most relaxing things to do is to take something apart now putting things together that's irritating mind-boggling aggravating make you want to bitch the whole time but taking something apart is different. Totally different. Because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're not putting it together. Putting together something can have its trials and tribulations, let me tell you. Taking something apart, you can use a hammer. <laughs> use a hammer. Don't worry about no Phillips. Hammer that thing out.
personally, I don't mess with anything else on that. I'm throw it in my shred pile. Just me. Some people might still take some more goodness out of that. I don't know. Sixty percent wire right here. Sixty. Sixty percent. Some of these should just pull right on through here. Cut them off on this side instead of leaving them over there. It's a beautiful day in sunny Southport, North Carolina. Grandpa is blessed. I could have my, seriously have my fan out here blowing on me always nice little resistors I guess I don't really know what they are when I bring my wire in I do have to make sure the ends are cut off and the plastic strips are off of it and unfortunately it appears that it doesn't matter what I bring in whether it's like this um, or extension cords which I call this 60% they're only giving me number two uh, for this number two um, copper coated wire but it's still a dollar five a pound but yeah, dollar five per pound. That's what I got the other day, and which is not terrible. I'll take a dollar five just for something you're throwing in a bucket. Anyways, the good thing about um, scrapping, guys, is ain't, you ain't got nobody telling you hurry up. That's the only thing left on this thing is that motor right there on the other side of this a couple nuts and bolts should come right out of there what have we got here oh yeah I see ya I see ya uh oh that hard of a time. Uh, them little plastic things. Come on. Got to do. All right, I'll do it the other way. There we go. All right, shred metal. Another motor. a good bit out of that 
some shred. Got a whole bucket of goodness to break down right there. Right. Uh oh, he's on the drill, Grandpa. Nice piece of shred here. Yeah, not bad. Nice radiator. Even though it's aluminum goodness. A couple of copper nuggets. <coughs> What's next? I guess we're not finished. We are not finished. got here it's bigger than that Come on, Grandpa. I know you're in there. Oh, my goodness. All right, going back to the other side. Going back to the other side. never probably real smart to do your bits like this guys that's not smart picking and digging picking and digging but I do it every time I'll get a kit oh cut it out I need to go get my other drill inside my other battery, I should say. Makes sense to keep on switching back and forth here. Makes sense. Put it on the vise, it'll come right out. Cast aluminum. Bring that in the garage, knock that right out. Oh, looks like aluminum. Oh yeah, come on now. Oh, it's copper. Copper, sweet. All right, that was that whole thing. Tore down. Literally put into a 
bucket. So now I do have two of these motors, some aluminum, some extrusion, some more extrusion, clean up a little bit. Um, yeah, some uh, shred metal belongs over there. That shred, so that's what came apart from that whole thing. There's still some goodness in here. That's nice copper, so yeah. Um, but. I'm not going to go ahead and grab that and just tear it down. I'm going to grab something else on here and tear it down. Um, try to do it right in the back of my truck while it's still fairly cloudy out. 